Rightio, today we are doing a new product release. And this is the release in my hand. This sexy little thing. Titanium fuselage. This has been sick. I've been so stoked to ride this. It's crazy. Uh, but let's go into why we've done a titanium fuselage because there is a big difference. And let's start with aluminium. So this is an aluminium fuselage, like, exactly like probably most people are riding now. Um, we make one very similar. This is one from, I've got lying around in the warehouse. Uh, they've always done an all right job. You know, it's been okay. And, um, but it definitely has its downsides. So let's get struck, stuck straight into it. Um, corrosion. So probably one of the biggest things most people find over time is corrosion. You know, we always put protective barriers on the on the mast heads and the inside the wing heads and stuff like that. So there's always like a glass layer inside the wing area, which is which is great and and does a good job. Over time, things wear. You know, get wear points, and all of a sudden you've got a little bit of carbon touching your aluminium, and it basically creates a battery, and you end up with massive corrosion very fast, which is all this white stuff all over this one. You can see. Um, makes it look ugly as hell uh, and but it starts wearing faster because it becomes rough and it's just a downhill spiral a few months later you got to buy a new fuselage yuck who wants that uh, the other thing aluminium is not good at is it's pretty weak uh, it fatigues very easy so you get aluminium fatigue and anyone who's ridden aluminium long enough especially if it starts corroding a lot is around the holes where the thinner areas are they crack and all of a sudden your nice expensive foil ends up on the bottom of the ocean and gone. So, like what a lot of others are doing, it just making fuselages bigger, thicker, thickening up the areas, and it just delays the inevitable. It's always gonna happen, aluminium's weak, it fatigues. Um, yeah, yuck, you know what? We don't really want that. It's, we're over it. So, titanium, all right? Stronger, stiffer, corrosion, doesn't happen. I've had this one a little while now, left it together, I've got straight carbon, there's no glass layer in here, I just I just leave it, oh, not the right way, I just leave it attached, it doesn't matter, just don't have to wash it, don't have to do anything, it's like having a full carbon setup, it's exactly the same maintenance, nothing, just put the shit together, put the stuff together, I'm just saying. put the screws in, and ride put it in the car, go home, whatever. Um, so yeah, corrosion, don't have to worry about it. Doesn't exist. One massive, massive tick, why titanium is better. Uh, the other one is the strength and the stiffness. So titanium is far, far stronger. Um, so in being so much stronger, what we can actually do instead of making things bigger and fatter and slower for from the strength and that we need, especially as we ride bigger wings these days. Um, titanium, we can actually go the opposite and we can go smaller. So this is actually a smaller fuselage than what we currently do in our aluminium. Uh, but it's it feels so much stiffer. It's crazy how much better this feels on the water. So massive, massive advantage. Um, the other one is, it's sexy as hell. Put it together. Like, tell me it doesn't look much better than the, just a plain aluminium anodized fuselage. So much better. Um, right. So, you'll notice two piece. You've got the tail section, which is just a slide in with the two bolts. Uh, so, when you want to change your fuselage lengths, front piece stays the same. Just change the fuselage sections. Similar to a lot of brands out there who run the one piece front wing fuse, just get the tail section separate. It's a relatively cheap part to the whole setup. And yeah, and it's an easy change, um, very light as well. So, which I'll touch on right now, titanium is heavier, all right? So um, one downside to making titanium parts is the weight is definitely more. But what we've done to help with this is we've reduce any area that we can because it's so strong you can actually reduce areas out and by reducing those areas out this now 
complete setup without the tail wing is exactly the same weight as the aluminium fuselage. So there's no difference in the weight. So what was a penalty is now no longer a penalty. Happy days. Um, another downside to titanium is it's bloody expensive. Anyone out there who knows or played with titanium is will understand how expensive this stuff can be. Um, but what we have done is we're direct. So you can buy direct off us. Um, so we help get the costs right down. So we're, we're trying to always reduce the pricing wherever we can. Masks are the same. Anyone who's bought one of our masks knows the price for the product is pretty good. Um, these are going to be no different. So check the price out on our website. Price is in Australian dollars. All right, so anyone overseas, remember that when you're looking at the price, it is in Aussie dollars and our dollar sucks. So you're probably going to get a bargain when you buy it from overseas. Um, free shipping. So we'll send this, whatever that price says on our website, is the price for that delivered. All right, so remember that as well. Free shipping on all our foil gear. Um, yeah, never have to add anything to it. Uh, this is my one. They will come fully polished. This one's not polished. So they'll come polished up, look even sexier again. Uh, outside of that, ride performance. You know, probably most will go, do you actually notice it? But you do. It's way stiffer. It feels better. I've been riding with my big downwind wing and, uh, and, my, and my surf wing. And it just feels better i'm going to say that i own it and do it but honestly when you get it if you don't like the ride just hit me up and call me a liar i don't care but you will love it like it just feels so much better um so in summary stronger stiffer same weight price will be pretty bloody good for titanium so check that out uh tail sections that wing comes off it's not a it's not all joined that's a just a normal wing section it's all as compatible as possible so obviously this will fit on to um, the other brands that use this fitting same as the mast track fitting um, and same as the tail wing fitting i want to keep things as compatible i don't want to confuse anything and make it too hard so um, yeah happy days i'll do some videos also down the track of fitting the masts um, and the wings, the wings and the tail wing, you've seen that go on and off a few times now, that's a piece of cake, there's a slide on, two screws done. The mask can be pretty tight, we like it tight. Um, but I'll do some videos if it's too tight, how to get it on. Um, so keep an eye out for that on the website as well. Uh, outside of that, yeah, excited. Ooh. See you later.